The 11 year wait is finally over. Hi, it's Nick and I'm here doing the movie review. I don't really do it often, but this one I really wanted to make a movie review of. Um, of Toy Story 3. Uh, Toy Story 2 came out 11 years ago, so there's a lot of fans of the Toy Story franchise because um, Toy Story was a big, was a big movie for um, Hollywood and stuff because it was the first um, really animated, digitally animated, like, like what you see now, animation, like not, like drawing animation. It was a first. It was like the first feature-length movie to do that. So it was already a big popular thing. But um, but so there was a lot of hype for this movie, and a lot of people expect a lot for this movie because for 11 years um, they should have a good idea by now. And all I gotta say is they did. They did have a great idea, and uh, the, this is probably the funniest one of all of them. Um, it does show all the, it does go through all the expectations and kind of looks at them and basically tries to, um, um, cash in and, um, and spend the expectations for this movie. And, um, the casting for this movie is all the same. They have the original actors. The movie was, that was actually very funny. Um, well, besides that, um, there's uh, a couple of funny parts in the movie, a few shock moments, and there's one part where Sid, the bad guy of the first movie, uh, makes a minor cameo. Actually, um, I did not really uh, figure this out. I did not actually... I saw I saw Sid in the scene, but I didn't realize it was Sid until a little bit later. Um, my cousin told me, hey, that was Sid, and I'm like, oh, that was? So, yeah... I'm not gonna, yeah, Joe, if you're listening, I'm not going to, um, take your, um, notice. So, um, this was probably the, one of the best conclusions I've ever seen in a movie, because it basically takes everything that was good in one, and all the things that was pretty good in two, and, um, kind of multiplied it multiple times to kind of have the feel of this one. Um... Probably one of the funniest parts is when uh, they 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 uh, mess around with uh, Buzz's um, uh, settings on his back thing, and um, they make him change uh, his uh, caption to uh, I don't know I think Spanish or French or something. Uh, well, and, and and he's subtitled for a por for a good portion of the movie, which is actually very funny. And he and and he does like a like a uh, something like. Uh, Kind of like a, um, I don't really know how to say it, but he does this. He, I you just, you just gotta see the scene. It's just really funny. This entire movie was hilarious. Um, there was a few moments where, um, uh, unfortunately, I laughed when I was not supposed to. Like, um, which means that I, that a lot of people were really hyped and a lot of people were really enjoying the movie because I saw um, the people behind me. It, the, the place was jam packed. And, um, everyone, like, interacted with it, everyone laughed, everyone told jokes, everyone, uh, said, oh, look at that, oh, that's funny, blah, 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 and they were like, oh, look at that, is that, like, they were all in, they were all into the movie, they were all into it, so that, I, I thought that was a really good thing, because if nobody was into it, they just kind of laughed when they were supposed to, and that was it, you know, then the movie probably wasn't that enjoyable, so, um, Go see this movie, because if you don't, and if you're already a big fan of 1 and 2, and you're thinking, you know, if, you know, the actors are probably getting old, they're probably, if they had to, if they had to think of 11 years with an idea, it's, it's probably not going to be good, you're completely wrong, it was a great movie, um, if you feel differently, if you thought, um, it went a little too over the top, and it went a little too, eh, not, not so great, then, you know, it, you can say that, but a lot of people liked it. I liked it. You, you're entitled to your own opinion. Opinion. Hey, you don't even have to agree with my review. Um, you're entitled to your opinion, so am I. So um, that's why I'm here making this review right now. <laughs> um, I don't really know exactly. Um, I, I I didn't want to get too in depth with it because if, if I if I get too much in depth, there's so many things that were good about it and so many things that were bad about it, but. So I, I can just end the review right now. But um, there's one thing before I before I give the out of ten re out of ten score. Um, 
I just have one little comment, uh, kind of a question. Is Andy on Elm Street? Because I, they said, um, oh, Andy's living on Elm Street, or whatever, like, okay, Elm Street, or whatever. They mentioned El they mentioned Andy lived on Elm Street. Elm Street? Like, Nightmare on Elm Street? I know Elm Street is a popular place, but, you know, when, well, why would they, um, mention Elm Street? You know, a lot of people would, uh, a lot of people think, what is that, a reference to Nightmare on Elm Street? Because that was a really popular movie, but you know that's a really popular, um, street. So, I don't know, maybe I'm just... I don't know. So, um, I'll give it a perfect, uh, 10 out of 10. Yes. I'm not a, I'm not a person that really, uh, says, okay, if the movie has a lot of jokes and it's really good, then I'm gonna give it a perfect 10 out of 10. Nope, I really, I really go in depth with movies. Uh, hell, I, um, I, I didn't review the movie yet, but I did Where the Wild Things Are, and seriously, I, I criticize the movie because of its camera work, okay, that's, that's already saying that I don't just look at a movie as a whole, I look at it as in bits and pieces, so I'm gonna give it a perfect 10 out of 10, there were some minor parts where I didn't really think, eh, it's okay, you know, some of the shock moments were kind of a little overplayed and kind of a little, and sometimes a little awkward, and the 3D effects were great. Um, if you want to see on a standard uh, 2D of the 2D effect, you can you can see it normally. But if you want to see it in 3D, um, I, I did not see an IMAX. I saw it in the regular 3D. The 3D actually looked really good because um, not a lot of things went in your face. So, um, but you know, digital 3D, it does, it's not that red and blue, so it, it's actually enjoyable. I actually forgot that I had the 3D glasses on. It was like a regular movie, and the ending, what can I say? It was just they had they had to do it, because um, if you look at the ending, I'm not going to spoil it, but if you look at the ending, you'll know that this is the end, okay? I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to say anything, I'm not going to say anything, whatever. So I'm going to give it a perfect 10 out of 10. Please watch it. Do yourself a favor. Do not wait to, to get it on DVD. See this movie because it's completely worth it. Um, yeah. Okay. This is um, Nick signing out.